Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. And I figured that since we're working on all these different projects, you might want to make them look cool with a nice color scheme. But maybe you haven't gone to school or read about how color theory or any of that stuff works and how colors kind of go well with each other. So I'm going to show you a website real quick and it's going to have a bunch of pre-made color palettes for us to use that will be helpful when you're making your project and trying to make it look nice. So I'm going to bring up the website here and it's called Adobe Cooler. Now you can it'll start up on this page where you can create your own types of um, different um, what are they called color themes but if you don't want to waste time and try to figure out a color theme you can come to this explore right here and people have created all these different ones for you you want to come down to either most used or most popular and these are the ones that work really well so if we go and take like click on this uh, frenzy one frenzy it brings us to this page now you can't save this it's gonna bring it up as a web page and that's something that's kind of annoying within this cooler they want you to try to use it with uh, Adobe and integrate it but I honestly haven't figured out how to integrate it into After Effects yet when you download it what you have to sign in and sign up and everything like that that's always annoying when you download it it gives you this uh, ASE file which um, I know that in CS5 I used to be able to just enable the uh, cooler extension but I can't figure it out in this one so what I like to do is just uh, take a print screen so I'm gonna hit print screen on my keyboard and then I'm gonna open up Photoshop and I'm gonna go file new and when you hit print screen in Photoshop it just brings up a brand new um, uh, brand new document I guess with your dimensions of your screen and I have double monitors so it's gonna be extra wide so I'm gonna hit OK and then this is gonna pop up I'm gonna hit edit paste and here we go I'm going to use my crop tool here and just click inside these and press enter the crop tool is over here on the left it's been selected already and then I'm just gonna save this and we can just save it as a JPEG that's fine and uh, color scheme is just all I'm gonna say right now and save it put it at maximum hit OK and close out of Photoshop and close out of this website now I'm going to import that image file import color scheme and let's just drop drop it onto our uh, table here and we can always refer to this and I'll just make it small and put it up here in the corner kinda like how an artist uses a uh, Oh, I got a little thing in there somehow kind of like how an artist uses like a paint palette and he can dip his brush in we can always pick from these uh, color palettes here so I've got this uh, solid here and I'll make it smaller and I'll create another solid solid to uh, I don't know how to spell today apparently so anytime you get to pick a color there's this dropper here and if you click on it I can move over here to this dropper and just click and hit OK and there's my new color so that's that's easy enough it's a uh, pretty basic quick and you can just get it done and always have this available for you up here now you could also pick your color without having to put this swatch up here but I feel like having this little smaller one up here is a little better but I can bring over the website here um, it's gonna be 
on my uh, double monitor here and it's kind of annoying having this in the way so it's going to be over here on my other monitor if you have another monitor I can go to layer solid settings click on my uh, dropper tool and bring it over onto the other monitor and you can see that it's changing so that's the benefit of having two monitors if I try to do it in within here it's going to go away so I mean it's not something that you can do with just one monitor unless you like minimize After Effects which is basically annoying so don't do that we'll uh, just stick with the the way that I showed you for now and then if I ever figure out how to get the extensions in there which I can't really seem to find anything on I'll let you know and make another tutorial about it but stick with this for now as a way to pick your different colors so that's a quick uh, tip there to make things look even more cool so I'll see you later on in uh, another tutorial have a good one everybody